Jean Hale, an actress known for her roles in 1960s television shows like Batman and movies such as in Like Flint, has died at the age of 82. On Monday, the star's family confirmed to Fox News that she died on August 3 in Santa Monica, California. She was previously married to Emmy and Golden Globe winning actor Dabney Coleman from 1961 to 1984. They share three children, Kelly, Randy and Quincy. Hale was perhaps best known for the 1967 spy spoof flick in Like Flint, which saw her play an employee of a corporation working to brainwash women into overthrowing the male-dominated world. She starred opposite Oscar winner James Coburn and Oscar nominee Lee J. Co in the same year, she appeared in two episodes of Batman as Polly, who helps the evil Mad Hatter in his quest to steal the titular hero's cowl. Her other television credits included roles in Perry Mason, The Alfred Hitchcock Hour, Hawaii Five-O and more. On the film side, she was known for appearing in flicks like Taggart, The Oscar and the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Per The Hollywood Reporter, the actress was born in Salt Lake City on December 27, 1938, but she was raised in Connecticut. Her father was a major corporate leader of Mormon heritage while her grandfather was known for having owned a ranch with Brigham Young. Hale went back to Utah for college and studied ballet at the University of Utah before attending Skidmore College in Saratoga Springs, New York. She also worked as a model for the Conover Agency and the Huntington Hartford Agency and studied acting alongside Coleman, James Kahn, Jessica Walter, Christopher Lloyd and more at the Neighborhood Playhouse. She signed a seven-figure deal with 20th Century Fox in the early 1960s when Sandra Dee's agent Len Luskin spotted Hale walking down the street. Outside of her work as an actor, Hale was devoted to volunteering with the American Cancer Society. In 1984, she started a production company called Coleman Tanisescu Entertainment with Gino Tanisescu before branching out on her own in 2000. According to The Hollywood Reporter, when she passed, Hale was working on a script called Being Genie, which was based on the true story of a woman who impersonated her and married ten men across the states of Texas and Oklahoma in the 1960s.